So I live in a town that is full of crackheads. They sing on a sleepless night. Try to catch me howling at the moon. And they like to come out in this back parking lot. And they like to do what crackheads do. They like to steal, they like to dump tires, set my dumpster on fire. Uh, the building behind here is pretty secure, but now the crackheads are looking for a way to gain entry into my building. They've pulled this board back, and that board was pulled back exposing the walkway. There's a big steel door down there, wooden, wooden door, not steel, but so they're trying to get inside my building because I guess working for a living is way too hard, you know, then, you know, stealing is so much easier. I guess you can just go steal from people and that's like the way to do things. So anyways, so now I've got to go downstairs and I've got to figure out a way to fix my basement door so that people won't be coming in and stealing my stuff. So let's go to the basement and let's see what we can do. Okay guys, let's go down in the basement and I'm going to show you what's going on down here. We've got Megan pulling orders for eBay. Say hi Megan. Hi. And I'm going to be coming back over here and I'm going to try to get this door fixed. First thing we're going to do, we're going to turn that off because it's kind of loud. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like underneath here. This is my dehydrator. This is the back door. When you swing it open here, um, this is the area that they pulled back. I mean, it's gonna be really hard for them to get down in there and there's a lot of spiders and it's really nasty. Um, a lot of nasty stuff like underneath here. So yeah. Um, now it doesn't want to close back all the way because I opened the door and apparently that latch down there is kind of rotten. There we go. I don't think she's going to open up anytime soon, but that's okay because I don't want her to. That'll help. Okay, so now we've got this here that fits in like this. There we go. Okay, folks, let's shed some light on this situation. I had a little technical difficulties. We're gonna try this over again. Um, I was able to go upstairs. I found my drill. I don't know how well this is gonna work because I'm only gonna be able to get so far here, but I don't need to get too far. I just need to get some, some uh, freaking, yeah. I need to get some screws in there. So I actually went and got my Torx bit. I want to put the three, inch, the three inch screws in there. And these, this is just an old Phillips, but this old Torquey Torx bit right here, this thing will work perfect. There we go. There we go. That's not going anywhere now. There we go. That's not coming anywhere. Okay, let me take you off here. This is gonna be a bumpy ride, folks. Here we go. I put a screw in here to screw it to the door frame. One here, one here, one here. I'm gonna put another one in right there. And uh, that's the way uh, it's gonna work out. That's not coming off. Okay guys, so I've got that board. You can kind of see, but just got that board up there. I've got that board screwed in there and this thing is as solid as can be. That's a thick door. You're not gonna get through that with a screwdriver and a hammer. You're gonna need, <laughs> 
You need a battering ram. That thing's old. It's pretty cool. I did see some writing on it here. Right there, I thought that was kind of cool. Somebody wrote on that years ago. But there you go. That's all in this part of the video. Okay, guys, me and Megan are going to go in here to our small local community thrift store. Uh, we can't buy much because, well, there ain't much room in that car. So we're going to go and see what we can find. Hopefully, we find something to resell on eBay. Let's go. They have some cool Singer sewing machine stuff here. It is some kind of button holder. Some of this stuff can be worth a ton of money. Some of the old stuff for the Featherweight, uh, the, what they call the 221 sewing machine. Um, if you ever find any of that, it can be worth fantastic money. But I always find like old computer monitors here. I used to sell a ton of computer monitors, but I quit doing that. And the small TVs, like the small video game TVs. I always love looking at the lamp section here. You never know what you're going to find. Uh, I buy a lot of lampshades here for lamps that I put in the store. A lot of neat stuff. Look at this. This is an 80s lamp if you've ever seen one. That's cool. It'd be neat. You could put stuff inside there like action figures. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. But that's kind of cool. $10. Look how big that shade is. It's crazy. They have a pretty good selection of toys here. Um, if you like to dig through the bin, sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff. I found some really neat action figures before and uh, found some really cool toys here. Board games and stuff like that do pretty well with toys. Toys are always a really good seller, no matter what kind of thrift shop you go into. If you look hard enough, you're probably going to find something in the toy aisle, toy aisle that you can buy, flip, and make money on. They have a large selection of books here. Um, they have tons of books and more in the back. Sometimes you can find some really good books here. Uh, they're not actually sorted the best, but you just never know uh, what you're gonna find hanging out on a bookshelf. Uh, I really wish they had them sorted by like fiction, nonfiction, but I understand that, you know, that takes a lot of work <laughs> and I don't think I'd wanna do it. So I'm not gonna hold it against them, but they have a ton of books. They have Gaylords of books in the back that they used to sort the books for an Amazon seller and he was removed from Amazon and they were stuck with all of his books. So if you're an Amazon scanner bookseller, this would probably be a good place to, uh, you know, find a bargain or two. It's crazy. This is something interesting here that I found. It's Eminem's wrapping paper. It's brand new. Um, they've got a dollar on it, uh, but this stuff sells. Vintage wrapping paper is something that sells really good. Uh, this is listed for 20 bucks plus $5 shipping and handling. So I'm going to buy that and uh, hopefully it will sell. Uh, there's always wrapping paper when you go places. You can always find vintage wrapping paper. It's everywhere. Um, and some of it sells really good, especially when it's brand new in the package. And uh, like that's Valentine's Day wrapping paper. And it is from Hallmark. So some of this stuff can be worth a small fortune. When you are out looking, be sure to scan it with your barcode. If it's new, it'll come up on eBay. It works pretty good. Give it a shot. Another good lot of items to look through when you're out is the plush stuffed animals. I found this guy, look at that. He's a pumpkin. It's like a little pumpkin stuffed animal. Um, we've got a rural Missouri bear. We've got a Taz. We've got a St. Louis Cardinal dog that my wife will probably sell on her account. And then we got a Bambi, which is a Disney store item. Then we got this for Mino Cooper. You'll have that to wear up in no time, but it's a ball and a one-eyed monster. That's kind of cool. I don't know. That is kind of cool. It's a fuzz ball. So I'll look him up before I give him to Coop because if I give him to him, he's not going to live very long. But if he's worth money, I'll sell him. Uh, Megan's found a couple of things over here. A llama, a wolf for Coop. Yeah. And a poop pillow. I don't know if she's gonna get I don't that. Know. We just we have a collection of poop we pillows. We have three we of like them. them. Yeah, yeah. But there's all kinds of stuff here. Like here's a whole mountain of stuffed plush, and you just never know what you're gonna oh, find. Look at, that. look at that, a Pikachu. Oh, that's definitely gotta go. Pikachu. Okay, guys. I did end up with that big roll of wrapping paper. I found this really cool blow mold pumpkin for 25 cents. Uh, Megan bought herself a set of, of footed pajamas. Maybe we can get a picture of her wearing those, yeah. but it'll be on Instagram. You're going to have to follow us over on Instagram to see a picture of her in the footed pajamas. We got a whole bag of freaking 
uh, stuffed animals. And then we did get Cooper some more ear pieces. Those are for Coop. We like to dress him up. He has an Instagram too. I'll post it down below. And then I got all of these DVDs. There really isn't a whole lot of special stuff in here other than Megan finding this. It's a different world. I think it'll sell for about 40 bucks plus shipping. It's brand new. And uh, I did find some of these. I found three of these, the golden door. Uh, there's another one hiding out right here. And uh, I think they sell for like 15 or 20 bucks a piece. So that's probably about 45 to 60 plus that. So there's about $80 just right here. How much did we spend total? Let's see what the receipt says. You know what it says? Maybe. It says 66.44 is what we spent. Not too bad. Okay, guys, you might have seen a little bit of random confusion on my face in the last video scene that we uh, was right before this one. And that was because we did not spend $66.44 at the thrift shop. We're going to have to go back tomorrow and get that taken care of because she must have, uh, what I like to call, fat finger punched in an extra number. That's no big deal. I know the guy that runs the place. I know the people that work there. They're great people. It'll be taken care of, but we're going to pull some orders. So what is the first item that we got to get pulled, Megan? And we're going to get the Mercari item, which is the MAC eyeshadow. Yeah, we'll get that real quick. We'll go grab it. Um, I have been selling a ton of stuff on Macari. I still have a ton of these eyeshadows. Um, they've more than paid for themselves by now, but if you see how small that is, I have one uh, egg or milk carton full and then a partial of another, and this sold for $10 plus like three something shipping and handling. That is not too bad. We've been selling these for a long time, and I think we're still going to be selling for a long time. We got a bunch of them. Okay, we found this Dawn of War. It's Warhammer. We sold it for six bucks. Is that shipped? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, six bucks shipped. We ain't gonna make a lot on that, but eh, it's about getting them feedbacks, right, folks? Okay, I bought a bunch of these Hot Wheel cars. Then I bought these plastic cases to uh, put them all in so that they would be nice and organized. And we sold this uh, Firebird Funny Car. We sold it for 20 plus shipping. Thing to look out with these, hold that for me real quick, sweetheart, is you wanna see right here, see where it's not punched? There's supposed to be like a little hole punch there. That is not punched, and that's something to remember. If you find these old Hot Wheels and they're not punched, add that to the description. They're worth more that way because that was where they should have slid onto the peg hook. And that's why we got 20 bucks for that car, so. Good information. That's why you watch the channel, so be sure to subscribe. The next item that we have here are these bicycle poker dice. Uh, little items today, but I kind of like that. It's easy to ship, not too bad. How much did they sell for? $11. So we sold them. We sold them for 11 bucks. I'll take that. Okay, this is the next item that we sold. You might have to come over here and pull it out. It ain't too heavy. Um, I bought that at the auction for, uh, I think, like five ten bucks it's a brand new light and uh it's really pretty i took an offer on it for like i believe 75 bucks plus shipping or 85 i think 85 they wanted to give me 75 but i said no i said no we're only going to take 85 and they took it and we sold it so it's got to be shipped so there you go the next item that i have right here is this rca camcorder um, I listed it without the bag because I, um, I don't want to sell it with the bag. Sometimes it makes it way too much or whatever. In this case, it might be able to ship in there because it's all kind of nightly pack, nicely, nightly, nicely packaged in there. Um, it sold, this is a VHSC. If you find these, be sure to pick them up. I paid 10 bucks for that one. How much did it sell for? 30 plus shipping. 30 plus shipping. Not too bad. So yeah, don't pass up on them camcorders. Just take your phone with you. Look them up while you're out in the field. Your phone's your best friend. The phone is going to make you more money than anyone ever will. If you just utilize the tools and uh, look stuff up first. Can't make bad buys that way. Yesterday we sold almost 1200 bucks on eBay freaking gravy day gravy day if you guys follow me on tiktok you seen that i made a video the other day of going to goodwill doing a quick goodwill video on tiktok and i bought this and i paid i think somewhere in the neighborhood of like three bucks for it 
We sold it today for $30 shipped. Not too bad. And then the next item that we have here is this old Mercedes Benz hat. And how much did it sell for? $14 plus shipping. Okay. Do we have any other items or is this it? We got a couple more. Okay. We'll find them and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. We picked up this little dime store toy here at an auction. We sold it for how much? Nine plus shipping. Nine plus shipping. I think I paid three bucks for it. I didn't make a ton of money. But I thought it was worth more because it was like the 1950s. But turned out that a dime in 1950 is worth like nine bucks today. So there you go. Who knew? Okay, guys, this is the next item that we sold here. This electronic foot pedal. We sold it for like $15 shipped. It's for an old Singer sewing machine. We have a car part left, right? Two car parts. What just sold? We just sold a train. A train. That would be in this tote right cheer with all the other cool old stuff. Over there. There it is. Right there, right? Mm -hmm. How much did it sell for? $7.95. I'm assuming plus shipping. I hope so. There you go. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, we just have a couple small car parts here. We've got a couple, we got a windshield wiper and a windshield wiper part so that's it they sold for one for like what five plus shipping and um a million five dollars plus shipping. <laughs> five plus shipping and five plus shipping pretty much yeah. we our sales are down really low today like if you watch the video i haven't even edited it yet but if you watch the video before this one like we had some really amazing stuff we had that Marantz receiver it sold for 350 bucks but today sales have been kind of crappy but uh it happens what is today the 20th the 20th i almost said the 19th today is the 20th and so sales have been down a little bit today we don't have a whole lot of great stuff to show you but you know hey peaks and valleys that's what it makes reselling fun uh we probably have today we probably have about 150 bucks worth of stuff going out maybe um 100 yeah because that that's 85 that's 30 so that's 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so yeah well you got about 225 going out so that ain't too bad plus shipping on top on a lot of this stuff so you know hey we're gonna stick with it too 225 250 is pretty reputable uh so i hope you guys like the video if you do go down and hit that thumbs up and be sure to like and subscribe you have a good day God bless you guys. And remember, Megan, what happens? The family that picks together? Sticks together. We stick together. You have a good day. God bless. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you as a little bonus. I actually cleaned up all of these boxes. Me and Megan cleaned up all these boxes in the corner. The whole basement needs to be, like, swept. Be because we have a golden retriever puppy who comes down here and he just tears stuff up in the floor. He's absolutely horrible, but I love him to death. So this is the end of the video. Bye.